previously on the NoVP channel. Tacky fun. And coming up. What is this giant <laughs> you've got on today? No, it's... <laughs> I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get access to the most unappealing crap you'll find anywhere on the whole internet. Cue the snafu! Who wants to pinch my bum tonight? Welcome to Who Wants To Be A Millionaire? My name is Olympia and tonight I'm ordering chippies. Are you? Aren't you? I thought maybe a nice Chinese. Oh, that takes a long time though. Chippies, they just shit them out, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want bum chips. Why do you do it to yourself? I can't <laughs> even. Sitting in the hot seat tonight is Nova Genesis, apparently. No. Uh, because Nova won the fastest finger first round by correctly identifying that the correct order of words in the sentence The cake is crap Uh, the cake is crap <laughs> Oh, and also, concept. it's Nova's birthday today, hello It is Happy birthday, you, should, you don't say hello, you say happy birthday Yeah Nova's 30 years old, she's 30 I am So there's no more jokes about my age you're still older than me, you always no, will be. Shut up. You always will be. Older, you know, better. No. Get it, get your head in the game. Get to get to get to get now, your head in the game. We could explain the rules and how who wants to be a millionaire works, but you've all seen it. And if you have it, I don't think it matters. Oh, there will be 15 questions. Nova has three lifelines. You've got to explain them anyway. Phone a friend, ask the audience, and 50-50. And Nova basically just has to answer all these correct. There's gonna be four choices for the answer mm. and then that's the who let's play <laughs> <laughs> it's time to play who wants to be a the mil weakest link a millionaire it's confusing me this <laughs> <laughs> nova why don't you tell us a bit about yourself and you know what have you got to offer well are you going to ask the question tell us about yourself that's the question i'm nova i'm very very sexy and alluring and very talented and most things. Uh, the only thing I'm probably lacking in is general knowledge. Cleavage. Oh, what would you not like to be asked questions for? Um, sports. Yep. Or geography. I've tailor-made this. All 15 questions are sport related. <laughs> I probably won't even get What would you like the there to be a question in what area? Music. Prisciness. Um... <laughs> Film, maybe. Okay. TV, maybe. All right, well, Nova, for £100, then we've got these lovely screens here and it will come up on the screen. Your first question for £100. <laughs> for £100. Okay. What are made and repaired by a cobbler? Is it A, shoes, B, roads, C, windows, or D, jewellery? I know this one. You know it? Yeah. Did you know it before the answers came up? Yes. And I what, thought I'd let you finish that. What do you think it is? It is shoes. Is that your final answer? Yes. Just won £100, Nova. Hey! Did it. Congratulations. Do you own any shoes? Yes. So you're cheating then. <laughs> For £200, let's get right into this, bitch. <laughs> very angry today. No, it's just cool. In the medical profession, what do the initials GP stand for? I know this one. Is it good practitioner? Is it garden practitioner? Is it general practitioner? Or is it graded practitioner? It is general practitioner. Just won 200 pounds. <sighs> Do I get this in cash? Uh, you'll get it in very, very small biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> like the dog biscuits, like the dog okay. you are. Oh, that's, that's so rude. sweet. I think that could be considered that's sweet. Rude. You just called me a dog. Yeah, but like a nice little sort of sh yappy shih tzu, something sweet. No, that for three hundred pounds, you don't get any of this. If you lose this, you get nothing. Only when you reach a thousand pounds will oh, you have ages that away? in for for three hundred, right? right? Okay, okay. What is the smallest country in the world? Oh no. Is it A Iceland? Is it B the Seychelles? Is it C Spain? Or is it D, Vatican City? Oh, it's that one. 
What is it? I think it's the Vatican City. You've is it got the Vatican City or just Vatican City? Vat it's Vatican City. You've got three lifelines you can use. I don't think it's the Seychelles. Do you know where the Seychelles are? Um, I should do because I did just look up holidays there and decided no. That sounds exy. Whose money you spend it, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Vatican City because it's like inside another country. We have been to Vatican City. Yes. Okay. Is that your final answer? Yes. Just won £300. Because it's a country inside a city. Which is called what? I don't know, but it must be tiny. It's called an enclave You're an state. Enclave. Or an enclave country. And I think there's only three. Enclave. San Marino is one. You know San Marino? Yes. Adrenalina. Not a woman. Just name. my touch and I'll ignite. Not the name of a woman. A woman. Because she is a lesbian, no. so I thought that was the name. I think the other one is Lazutu. Don't just make up places Okay, now. for £500, Nova. Oh, no, this is really getting me tense. For £500, in what year was the... Two? We'll be right back after these. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your tango. Oh, tango, you can beat the lights. Here's the tango. Thank you for the tango. Oh, a lady. Do you have tango? Here's the tango. Thank you for the tango. Green light. Oh, I'm off. Oh my god, tango. You can't beat tango. You can't beat the whole fruit. Tango, tango, tango. Welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. <laughs> Nova is currently sitting on 300 pounds as well as a flat ass. For £500, Nova, in what year was the first iPhone released? Shit. Now, have you got a guess that you can give me before I give you the options? I'm doing my Chris Tarrant bit. I was in, I want to say I was in year 10. That doesn't really help me. Well, what year was that? You know that. No. Well, how old are you in year 10? I don't know. Well, how, how? I don't know, go on. Um, give me some options. Was it A, 2000? No. B, 2004. C, 2007. Or D, 2009. 2009 is too late. It And 2000 is too early. It's either 2004 or 2007. That's good deduction is by process of elimination. Congratulations. I'm not saying that those are right, but your methodology seems solid and sound. 2007 is when Blackout came out. Some dog millionaire. People have iPhones then. Was that movie where he had like he had all these life experiences to get to all the answers? And yours are just all going to be Britney Spears related. Now, what did Britney release at the same time? Can we ask the audience? We can ask the audience. Okay, audience, look down at your buttons, please, and answer. In what year was the first iPhone released? Got to do some maths here now. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have to write the numbers down. <laughs> Yeah, you do. <laughs> Half of 72 is represented by Shut 9. Shut up! Was that 72 because that was 81? Oh no. Oh fucking hell, I don't... <laughs> also, I hope this pen isn't going to go through to the table. No, shut up. I said that's your concern. Wait. <laughs> I mean... You know, it's on the, it's on your screen currently. 82% of our audience are saying that it's C, 2007. Nine are saying that it's 2009. Only 6% of our audience think that it was 2004 and Amiga 3 think it was 2000. Well, I said it was either B or C, so I'm gonna go with the audience on this one. I'm gonna say C, 2007. Final answer? Yes. I don't believe this. You just won 500 pounds! Yes, you got it, you stupid bitch! I'm very smart and attractive. Well, you had to ask the audience. You can't rely on that, can you? For 1,000 pounds, Nova, now this will be the, the last chance the you counts. have to go home with nothing. Which airport is the opening scene of Love Actually set in? Is it A, Heathrow? Is it B, Gatwick? C, Luton? Or D, Stansted? The opening scene of Love. Have you seen Love Actually? Yeah. That bitch 
got the bracelet or the necklace or whatever, and Emma Thompson went crying. But what was the opening scene? Where was that? It's not going to be Luton or Stansted. It'll be like a major one. It'll be Heathrow or Gatwick. What are you saying about Stansted and Luton? We went to Luton. Never again. Exactly. Don't go there. Oh, no. My gut is saying Heathrow. <sighs> Is your gut going to be enough? Because you could go home with nothing. Right? <laughs> I don't want to go home with nothing. You've got two lifelines. You've got 50-50. Oh. And you've got phone a friend. Maybe I'll do 50-50 because then if I can just get rid of either Heathrow or Gatwick, because I feel like it's either of them. Going to go with 50-50. I think maybe 50-50. Okay, computer, please take away two wrong answers and leave us with one wrong answer and the correct answer. Oh, they've left us with Heathrow and Gatwick. You are a dickhead. I can't dickhead. believe this. You are a dickhead. A and B. They've left us with Heathrow and Gatwick. You are a dickhead. That's tricky, isn't it? That's tricky, that. Because it could have, you know, it could have left you with Heathrow and Luton. And then you would have known which one to go for. She's flying to America, isn't she? I'm sure no. they'll all go there. They'll all go there. No, like in the scene. Like, why are they at the airport? The whole film's set in an airport, isn't it? What am no. I thinking of? I'm thinking of the terminal. <laughs> the Which whole film's actually. They look quite pretty. That was creepily good. Oh. Okay. You know that one with. Which one? Are I'm you thinking, thinking of, of a holiday. <laughs> Not the same film. But I don't think there's an airport in that at all. Well, yeah, because they swap, don't they? I quite like the holiday. Kate Winslet huffs gas. They've got. One lifeline left and it's phone a friend and you've said you don't know anyone that would know I really do know this. Don't you have any really sad people that watch rom-coms? Who's like really sad that we know and pathetic and all they do is watch Love Actually like all the time? Like, oh, it's so sad. We have, we know, I can think of two people. <laughs> you can choose to walk away with 500. That will buy you a lot of stuff on AliExpress. <laughs> a lot, a lot. That will buy you 500 pairs of shoes. <laughs> Or you can guess either Heathrow or Gatwick and potentially lose everything, and that includes your respect. <laughs> I'm gonna guess Heathrow. Fine Lancer? Yeah. Because it's the bigger one, isn't it? I think Heathrow just sounds more like movie esque than going like Gatwick. Gatwick's not like for a Hollywood film. Do you wanna know the answer? Okay, oh, no. Shit. Just won 1,000 pounds. Everyone's going crazy in the studio. Put that down. So you've got, you're guaranteed now 1,000 bucks. Yes. Do you understand me? If you win the million smackers, what are you going to spend that on? Um, I might just like leave and never come back. Oh. <laughs> I might help you cheat to get to the million then. <laughs> okay, for 2,000 pounds. You yes. ready? Yes. Nervon Gnervon. <laughs> what colour were the pyramids of Giza originally? What? Were they orange? Were they blue? Were they pink? Or were they hot? The pyramids of Giza. You're aware of the pyramids of Giza? Yes. Yeah, you know who fucking isn't. Half the people who were in that 10 smarter than a 10 year old thing. <laughs> Why is there always a question about the pyramids of Giza? It's so no. weird, isn't it? Orange, blue, pink or white? They would not have been blue. Blue is a almost impossible colour to find in nature. Apart from your eyes. Oh, thanks. They would not have been blue <gasps> because they're such a grand scale that's so unrealistic. I think they like dyes them blue, not blue. I don't know what they're made out of. They're just made out of like sand. Sand? Like just like squished together. Fucking <laughs> hell, that's bleak, isn't it? What they made out of? I can't tell you, can I? I'm, I'm Chris Tarrant. I'm Chris Tarrant. Limestone. Okay. <laughs> Sandstone. Sandstone. Yeah, but all right. Sand. What does that tell you then about your your options here? That they were white. Oh, interesting. There's no point in taking the money and going. You might as well risk it. I'm gonna go for white. D white. Final answer. Yeah, now, now they're just all like all sandy and covered in cack, so they're like golden. They used to be white. You just won two thousand pounds. <laughs> I'm well good at this. I was doing really well. You have lost two of your lifelines, and it's quite early though. <laughs> so there is always that. Nova. Yes. For four thousand of your great British pounds. Mm -hmm. Which Shakespeare play included the famous stage direction "Exit," pursued by a bear? Was it A, A Winter's Tale? Was it B, Hamlet? Was it C, Macbeth? Or was it D, Othello? Have you heard of Exit Pursued by a Bear? Everyone's no. heard that. No. 
Never heard of that before. I've never we heard We should have had someone else. How have you never heard of that? Exit book. pursued by. I studied Macbeth, it's not Macbeth. So you can recite all of Macbeth immediately, go. There's no bear in Macbeth. Which um, one has got a bear in it? I don't know, Winter's Tail sounds a bit bear-y, doesn't it? <laughs> Could be a I bear can't... in the winter. Can't bear you. <laughs> bear right. Ah! <laughs> Hamlet You've is got... the one that's like Lion King in it, so I don't really know like who would be the Bears. Shakespeare bear in the Lion King. You've got your phone a friend. Is there anyone that you can think of that would know Shakespeare? Yes. And who would that be? Jamie might know. Yeah, should we should we call Jamie? <sighs> okay, then we're gonna call how do you know Jamie? So he's an ex colleague of yourself. And do you think he knows a lot about Shakespeare? So He's a bit poncy, so he probably He is a film writer, producer, director, he's dipped his hands in all parts of filmmaking, so I feel like he Don't would say know dip to your he hands. would know the I classics. Know to, I know Jesus. You are all these people, I don't even know who they are. Hello. Oh, we answered. Hello, Jamie. Hello. Jamie, this is Olympia calling from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Hello. Uh, well, I'm very excited. You sound very different from Jeremy than uh, normal. Jeremy? Who's Jeremy? Oh, does Jeremy present it now? I don't know. Anyway, Jamie. Oh, I didn't know that. I've got Nova here in the hot seat and she's got, uh, she's chosen you as her phone a friend. So the next voice that you're going to hear will be Nova's. And you've got 30 seconds to answer the question. I'm ready. Right, Jamie, which Shakespeare play included the famous stage direction, Exit Pursued by a Bear? Was it A Winter's Tale, Hamlet, Macbeth, or Othello? Uh, oh, it's a good one. I'm thinking maybe A Winter's Tale. That's what I was thinking, so, but that was just a guess because so it sounds it a bit bearry. Exit, exit stage with bear. Exit Pursued by a Bear. What is <laughs> for? I was hoping... I'm going to go with A. Okay, that that feels good because that was what my gut was saying. Oh no, time's run out. Oh. I have to hang up because time run, run out. <laughs> oh, well, he's I love seemed... Izzy in the background. What's that, what's that for? <laughs> I'm going to go with the Winter's tail then because it just sounds like there could be a bear involved. Final answer. Yeah, go on. You just won four thousand hey. pounds. I can't believe you used your lifeline so well on this so yes. far, but Nova, you have run out of them. Is that all of them gone? That's all three of them done with now. Isn't there like an, a new fourth one? No, we're using three. Now I have to warn you that you have four thousand pounds. This is for something else you'd rather be doing at the moment. You currently have four thousand pounds. Yes. Now, if you get this wrong, you lose three thousand. And right. you'll be going with one. So for £8,000, Nova, what is the most sold flavour of Walker's Crisps? Oh. Is it A, cheese and onion? Is it B, salt and vinegar? C, prawn cocktail? Had some earlier on. <laughs> or D, ready salted? What would be your favourite of those four? Which bag are you picking up? So my favourite would be cheese and onion. I feel like cheese and onion would be the most popular. Mm-hmm. I feel like perhaps ready salted is the most sold because I feel like you would sell, if you were going to have any flavour, that's the one people can't really be fussy about, like it's just a bit inoffensive yeah. and maybe you'd ship that out to like schools and stuff. We buy like, plain ones for parties exactly, because some people don't thinking. like yet. Yeah. Maybe for like catering yeah. or like, do you know what is I mean? Is that theory worth losing £3,000? What is the most sold yeah, go on. flavour of Walker's Crisps? Let's go with ready salted. Final answer. Yeah. I'm a risk taker. I take risks. You had a check for £4,000. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to replace that with a check for £1,000, oh, no! Nova. I'm sorry, the correct answer was A, cheese and onion. Oh, oh I can't no. believe it. I'm really surprised You that. made it further than I think we all thought you would. I'm really surprised at that. I I, I get it. I it's think I would one. have said the same, though. Yeah. I think I would have said ready salted, but we both like cheese and onion the best, so that also yeah. stands to reason that that was the answer. I would Listen, have always said that was the most popular. Did you enjoy your time here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? 
It passed like half an hour. Okay. I've got a, a thousand pounds out of it. And good luck to you. Thanks. <laughs> because we're going to switch over now. Right. Because you know whose turn it is now. Yours. It's me, it's me, it's me! <laughs> ba -bum. So, <sighs> Olympia. Hi there. How are you feeling? I'm very excited to win lots of money tonight. You've had a poo already today. Why? So that's at your system. Is this and because people ready. say that you're a raging drunk, so you're trying to get back at me by telling people that I've got some sort of bowel problem? No, it's perfectly normal to go for a poo. It doesn't mean you've got a problem. I haven't gone for a dump in like four hours. Why are you bringing it up? I just, you're supposed to ask Very me defensive. about like who I am. No. I think, dost, dost thou protest too much? Dost thou shit all over the sink? <laughs> what areas do you think you're going to be really thriving in tonight? I'm, I'm good at, I can do a bit of history, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Geography, I'm good at, and then maybe like entertainment. I don't want sport. Yeah, I can't no do one that. Wants sport, do they? And uh, maybe not like I don't know maths or shit like that's not good. Very stupid. No, no, very, I did very well in my not, examinations. Not very smart. I did well. I'm ready to play. I'm really excited. All right. Wait, what? How much did you get? You got a grand. I got a bit of grand. Oh, yes. piece of piece, by the way. So first question, you'd have to be really stupid not to get this correct. <gasps> in the UK. The abbreviation NHS stands for National What Service. Is it humanity, health, honour, or household? You know when like, you know the answer to something, or someone just asks you casually, and then you get options and all of a sudden you just die inside. It's health, National Health Service. Is that your final answer? Yes. It is health, you just won hundred pounds. That's nerve wracking. This is so, I'm frightened. Okay, moving swiftly on for 200. Can the audience just shut up a bit, please? Yeah. Which Disney character famously leaves a glass slipper behind at a royal ball? You've written these yourself. Is it A, Pocahontas, B, Sleeping Beauty, C, Cinderella, or D, Elsa? It's C, Cinderella. But you never really say that you're a big fan of Disney. Well, no, films. but if you don't know that that is Cinderella, then I don't know, you've obviously been in a cult or something. Because is it Cinderella? It's Cinderella. It Leaves is Cinderella. Leaves a slipper at the, yes, okay. It is Cinderella. Okay, we're getting through the easy ones. I'm at catching, quite a pace. I'm catching you up. So question three, this is for 300 pounds. What name is given to the revolving belt machinery in an airport that delivers checked luggage from the plane to baggage reclaim? Is it A, a hangar, B, a terminal, C, a concourse, or D, Carousel. I was hope I was frightened then that Carousel wasn't going to come up. Hanger. Who's going to pick that? It's D. Carousel. Final answer. That is correct. It is Carousel. Uh, these are just. I'm just absolutely hitting these out of the park. So question four for five hundred pounds. Okay. Which of these brands was chiefly associated with the manufacture of household locks? Is it A. Philips, B. Flymo, C. Chubb, or D. Ronseal? Um, it's Chubb. I don't appreciate being asked that question because the answer is Chubb. Flymo do lawn mowers. Ron Seal is chiefly like d wood dye. Phillips does all sorts of shit, but Chubb is lops. Is that your Chubb had lots Chubb, yeah. See, Chubb! <gasps> I was too far, thank you. It is C, Chubb, that is correct. I, when I tell you that I have... <laughs> Finally, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy because I've dumped all over the floor beneath me at the moment. Um, okay, so that's how much am I on? Well, this will be for a thousand pounds. Question five. This will be your first milestone. My heart is racing. If you get this wrong, these have been easy. With nothing. Okay. Question five for a thousand pounds. The hammer and sickle is one of the most recognisable symbols of which political ideology? Is it A. Republicanism, B. Communism, C. Conservatism, or D. Liberalism? I, I feel like mine, these have been so much easier. Communism is a hammer and sickle. These have, have been are a lot sure? easier. These are... Look at Nova, are you sure? She's trying to throw Real me. questions from a show that did air. See, this is what I mean. Then you, sh you start to second guess yourself. If anyone, that, it's a com communism, hammer and sickle. Is that your final answer? It's co B, communism. It is communism. <sighs> oh my You've God! You've safely got a thousand pounds in the bank. So I can only but draw with you. I suddenly feel more relaxed now. I was going to say, how are you feeling now that you've got the 1K guaranteed? I feel great because if I also get a thousand at this point, you know, great one, we'll order some chippies. 
Are you not nervous at all that the difficulty might start to increase? I'd like the difficulty to increase, not in an arrogant way, but they were easy, I think. Would you like the next question? I would like it, yes, please. Okay. For it, well, how much is this one for? This is for £2,000. Ah, oh, shit! Which toys have been marketed with the phrase, Robux in disguise? Is it A, Bratz dolls? B, Sylvanian families? C, Hatchimals? D, Transformers? I think every, people in the comments are going to be like, this is not fair. Surely it's Transformers, robots in disguise. Sylvanian families, robots in disguise. It's D, Transformers. It is D, <laughs> Transformers. <laughs> what? That's such a stupid... Right, the next one... I, I can't don't... be too arrogant. I can't be too arrogant. Yeah, because the next one I don't know, so I just... Tone to that shit down. Okay, so question seven, and this is for £4,000. <laughs> what does the word loquacious mean? Is it A, angry, B, chatty, C, beautiful, or D, shy? Oh, loquacious means chatty. Well, I thought loquacious meant that you had a good verbiage. It's to do with loquacious is when people speak, so it's I used to go to school with loquacious. Wh who's that? She was a lovely girl. Is that a joke? Yes. <laughs> loquacious means chatty, I think. What are you basing that on? I just know the word. People oh. say it. It's not, I'm not sure they do. You don't say it very often, but... I've never heard of this word before in my entire life. Yeah, of those... I don't know. If so you would asked me what loquacious means, I don't know that I would have said chatty. I think I would have said... What's the... Like articulate or something. Right, well, that's not one of the options. And we did have well, experts Well, in which case, I'm going to so. say chat, B, chatty, loquacious. All right, no one likes to show off. It is B, chatty. Wait, how much, I, how much have I fucking got? £4,000. What am I going to purchase with that? I need to make a list. This is exciting. I'm very excited. These questions are so easy. Question eight for £8,000. Obstetrics is a branch of medicine particularly concerned with what? Is it A, childbirth, B, broken bones, C, heart conditions, or D, old age? Obstetrics is childbirth. It's yeah, a branch it's, it's, of medicine particularly it is. concerned with what? Yeah. It's child, A, yeah. childbirth. It's pretty easy, that one. I feel like this question's quite easy. How? When did you get knocked out? Eighth. That, that, that one? Yeah. There's no way. Yours were harder. To be fair, neither of us wrote these questions. We just pulled them. Yeah. Well, does it get harder? Keep going. Oh, you'll have no idea about this one. <laughs> you will have no idea. Let me find the answer. This is for what? 16? Right. So this is question nine for £16,000. I think this is going this to, is going to be like your first challenge. Trigonometry and shit. In Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm not gonna know you. What was the signature look of the fourth Doctor as portrayed by Tom Baker? Was it A, a bow tie, braces, and tweed jacket? B, wide brim tat, an extra long scarf? C, pinstripe suit and trainers? Or D, cape, velvet jacket, and frilly shirt? I don't know. Pinstripe suit and trainers is David Tennant, I think. Didn't he have a pinstripe suit and trainers? I'm sure he did. Yeah. Tom Baker sounds like one of the- Oh, the fourth doctor. That would have been decades ago, wouldn't it? Mm. Won't be pinstripe suit and trainers. I don't know though, so I'm going to ask the audience. <laughs> I've got to prepare a little graph. I'm going you. to use my first lifeline, please, Nova Quizmasters. And I'm All gonna right. ask the audience, thank you. We'll wait for everybody to grab their handsets. Yep. Time starts now. Okay, all right. Okay. So it looks like the Any audience- Any surprises there? The audience is saying wide brimmed hat and extra long scarf. But perhaps the audience is just as confused as you are. Uh, they fucking better not be. <laughs> they want to not be. You know, B clearly has the most votes, so I think the audience knows what they're talking about. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with B. You use the lifeline. Your first one of the game so far, okay. and it is paid off. Oh, thank God! I don't watch Doctor Who. I just don't. Thanks. Cheers, guys. I've got sixteen thousand pounds. So this next question. Put your pants on. What? Yes, yes, for okay. a guaranteed. This is it. Thirty-two thousand pounds. Okay. This is question ten. If you get this wrong, okay, you leave with one thousand pounds. Okay. Oh, I'm not losing that. Which of these religious observances lasts for the shortest period of time during oh. the calendar year? Is it A. Ramadan, B. Diwali, C. Lent, or D. Hanukkah? Uh, 
Ramadan is a month. Ramadan's a whole month. Lent is also a month, isn't it? Give it up for Lent. Is Lent a month or is it like... Everybody give it up for Lent. <laughs> I'm sure Lent is a month. Hanukkah is seven days, is it not? Diwali is the shortest one. I think Diwali is the shortest one. I'm sure Hanukkah lasts for seven days. Is it seven days? Is, if, it's, if, it's, if, it's, if it's not seven, it's like nine. I think Diwali is only like a few days. Diwali's the Hindu one of those. The I others- I was always taught to pronounce it as Diwali. I don't know if that's correct. Diwali. Oh, I don't know, maybe it is. I feel pretty strongly about this. Well, the thing is I'm gonna be really obnoxious and I wanna get like money. I want serious money. So I don't wanna use one of my lifelines. It's not Ramadan. It's absolutely not Ramadan. Why is Lent like the trickiest one for me? I feel like Lent should be the most obvious one. Is Lent a month? I'm gonna say Diwali. Final answer B, Diwali. Now, I have to take your final answer, <gasps> which is B, Diwali. Yeah. It's wrong, isn't it? You've won 32,000 pounds. Oh you are God. still in the game. What? Again, gut instinct. You go with your gut. 32 grand. I think there's a lot to say for going with your gut. How long is Lent? I don't know. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so we've guaranteed 32,000 pounds. Let's see if you can add anything on top of that. I would, if I, if, the, if I was on this show, I would have won 32. Can I just have it though? <laughs> so question 11 for 64,000 pounds. At the closest point, which island group is only 50 miles southeast of the coast of Florida? Is it A, the Bahamas, B, the US Virgin Islands, C, Turks and Caicos Islands, or D, Bermuda? It's not Bermuda, it's way out in the Atlantic Ocean. It's not Bermuda. 50 miles, so which is closest then essentially, 50 miles. Remember Roxy considered the Bermuda Triangle as possibly one of the, being one of the <laughs> ancient wonders, wonders of the world. Wonders of the world, she's so stupid. It's not Bermuda, let's do a process of elimination. The Bahamas are right underneath Florida. The US Virgin Islands and the Turks and Caicos are, are more, probably with Central America, there's so many islands there. Mm. I think that the Turks and Caicos and the US Virgin Islands are more south towards like Haiti. You said you were after a little bit of geography. Geography, I like this one. I'm pretty sure it's the Bahamas. The Bahamas are right, literally underneath Florida. Now my geography is appalling. Yeah. And I was quite confident I knew the answer to this. Is it because you only it. heard of the Bahamas? <laughs> no, the housewives went on holiday to the Turks and Caicos Islands. They did. I'm gonna say it's the Bahamas. I think the Bahamas. Is that your final answer? A, Bahamas. You look really stupid if you get this wrong. Oh, I thought you were gonna say it's wrong then. God, you'll look stupid. No, it is the Bahamas. Oh, you'll look so stupid. But I'll look nice though at the same time. Maybe you'll look stupid on the next question because you got it correct. It is yes! the Bahamas. Fucking hell! Sixty-four thousand pounds. I'm happy about that. Um, <laughs> The next question then. I'm such a square, go on. Question 12 for yeah. 125,000 pounds. We're talking you big bucks shit. now. All right. Big bucks. Big bucks. Construction of which of these famous landmarks was completed first? Was it A, the Empire State Building? B, Royal Albert Hall? C, the Eiffel Tower? Or D, Big Ben Clock Tower? Okay, so the Empire State Building is like 20s, 30s because it's Art Deco. So shut, first of all, not, shut, not a pretty face. First of all, shove that up your ass. The Eiffel Tower was built for the World Fair in Paris, 18. <laughs> it's earlier than the Empire State Building, like 1870, late 1800s. It's surely it's Big Ben. It's got to be earlier than that. Okay, it's not the Empire State Building, so let's. Bugger that sideways, first of all. Uh, yeah, the Eiffel Tower is like the late 19th century. Big Ben, though. I think Big Ben's been there for a bit longer than that. I'm going to have to use a lot. Well, all I find's forgot there. 50-50 and... Um, find a friend. I'm trying to think of like what I know about the Royal Albert Hall. Have you ever been to the Royal Albert Hall? Uh, no, but Spice Girls did. Um, so we know that that's at least from the 90s. <laughs> What is this giant cock ring you've got on today? No, it's... 
I think it's between the Royal Albert Hall and Big Ben. All right, I'll, I'll do 50-50 then, please. And I'd like, yeah, thank you. Right, so, bam. There it is. Yep, <laughs> and it's left. The Royal Albert Hall and Big Ben Clock Tower. You are so stupid. You know I played you like a fiddle because I don't think it's Royal Albert Hall at all. Played that bitch like a fiddle. I think it's Big Ben. If it was named after the Royal Albert Hall, <laughs> chances are it was named after Prince Albert. And he was around Vic Queen Victoria, so he would have been afterwards. So I'm gonna go with... <laughs> it's a lot of money to lose though, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's Big Ben Clock Tower. I feel pretty good about that. You sure? 50-50 check. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Like this. That, that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yes, final answer. Big Ben Clock Tower. My heart is going so far, I hate this. It wasn't Empire State Building. We knew that. You can't do it like that. Either. And we knew it wasn't the Eiffel Tower. But was it Royal Albert Hall? No, it wasn't. No, there's no way that was there afterwards. What was the question? The Royal Albert Hall was actually built specifically for the Spice Girls. So it is in fact, Big Ben, Clock Tower. I don't know what I'm more shocked about, the fact that I got it right. Or it, built for, it was built for the Spice Girls. Yeah, that, well they were a big deal, weren't they? So you would build. Congratulations, you've got 125,000 pounds. Can I just say, I am so fucking smug the camera's on because we played this the other day at a friend's house and I got a question about a camel wrong and everyone shouted at me about it. Because <laughs> you were so confident that you knew about it. I, well. And I can't remember now which is a Bactrian or a drug. I can never fucking... Okay, Omar, I'm about to win I didn't think much? you were going to get this far and I might not have screenshotted all the answers. You've got to be kidding me. I just didn't think you would get this far, so I didn't bother because I couldn't fit it on one screen. Well, turns out I did get this far, so yeah, isn't, there egg on, isn't there egg on your tits? So, question 13. For a quarter of a million pounds, which of these cetaceans? Cetaceans? I'll read it in word. a second then. It's classified as a toothed whale. Is it A, the grey whale? B, mink whale, C, sperm whale, or D, the humpback whale. Cetaceans is classified as a toothed whale. What life fun have we got there? Phone a friend. Yeah. I'm going to phone someone because I don't know the answer to this and I've got nothing else to lose. I don't know which of those has a tooth, has a tooth. <laughs> I don't know, but who can I phone though? It's a sperm whale, so Charmaine might know that one. I've got an idea as to who you can call, but I'm not gonna... Do we know any vets? We know someone's super into whales and Oh birds. my god, get her on the phone immediately. We literally have a friend who knows all about whales. How did I forget that? Um, so I've chosen to call our friend Kat. She knows a lot about whales and there's no one else finer. But she might she might not know. But anyway, okay. No, she's not gonna so. <gasps> oh, hello, Kat, it is Nova, and you are live on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. It was very touch and go there for a moment. We thought you weren't going to pick up, and Olympia here was about to lose £250,000. Oh, shit. <laughs> We've got 30 seconds on the clock. I'm going to pass you over now to Olympia, and off we go. Hi Kat, okay, so which of these cetaceans is classified as a toothed whale? Is it grey whale, mink whale, sperm whale, or humpback whale? Oh my god, you know I don't know that. <laughs> you know about whales. Well, so, sorry, say them again, what are they? Which one's got teeth? A grey whale, mink whale, sperm whale, or humpback? Fucking hell, the only one I know is a narwhale. <laughs> Oh, no, Fred, we're out of time. Was that 30 seconds? That was 30 seconds. Oh, okay, well, thanks. Thanks for nothing then. Thank you anyway, Kat. You'll have to watch it on TV and see how she did. Um, bye. Bye for now. Oh, no, she was shit. Unfortunately, um, nah, whale. It's not only not a whale, it's also not one of the options. So. I don't know. So, Nova, I'm going to take my money. 125,000 and I'm going to walk with it because I'm not going to 
do you know what? I think that's very respectable. The others, I had ideas. That one, she just messaged and said, why would you do that to me? Um, if I had to make a guess, I would say tooth. Which one of them's got tooth? I've never even heard of a mink You are whale. so close. You're two questions away from a million. Are you absolutely sure you're going to walk? Yeah, I'm not going to do I want the money. Fuck that shit. I'm not doing what you did. You thoroughly embarrass yourself. I'll go with grey whale, but I'm, I'm going to walk and take the money. Okay, so you are leaving tonight with 125 Thousand, I like that amount. Which is nothing to be to sniff at. That's that's a sizable amount of money. Oh, it's thank a big you very chain. much, Miss yeah. One Thousand. Nothing to sniff at. You're not having it. If you it. were to proceed and lock in the answer, Grey Whale. Yeah. It's a guess. I don't know. You would have lost. What is it? That was not the correct answer. The correct answer was, in fact, Sperm Whale. I should have called Shah. Well, thank you then. Thanks. I'm taking this all the way to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> so there we are then, that was Who Wants To Be A Millionaire and I loved every second of it because I got loads of money and you got nothing. Though, I right? got a thousand pounds and I had a very good time. So nothing. I'm very nothing. pleased with my performance actually. Nothing, you're worthless. I came here with nothing and I left with money I didn't have before so. I've been accused of being a sore winner before so I'm just going to keep my mouth shut and take my money straight to the bank. Right. If you've never been here before, this is the kind of dreadful shit that we do. Yes. Just We've done wasting everyone's No, having fun. Time. We had fun. Is, it, is that what it is? We've done loads of these. Oh, are you smarter than a 10 year old? Mm -hmm. Oh, the cube, the week we of sleep. did um, blankety blank. Wankety wank. There's probably a lot, I can't remember half of them now. Uh, probably Mastermind we did one time, yeah. loads yeah. of them. Please get in the comments down below and let us know what you want us to do next game show wise. And Nova, we've also got a Patron Patreon, Patron Cult Lifestyle. Oh yeah. So if you know, you want to head over to Patreon. <laughs> what you gonna do with all that ash? <laughs> Some of those guys over there get exclusive content. My solo podcast. Apparently, I don't talk about that enough because so many comments last time I brought it up, people were like, what's that? I feel like that's the main reason why a lot of people join the Patron. I have got a podcast, podcast over there. Nova jumps on it occasionally. We're on episode 200 and something. We'll be doing it for a I long time I was on the most now. recent episode, wasn't I? Nova was on the most recent one. People yes. said it was... One the of the best. top <laughs> four, certainly. <laughs> Do you know where the toilets are? Some of those guys get birthday shout outs, including, but not limited to, for September 12th, it's Craig. Happy birthday, Craig. Happy birthday, Craig. For September 13th, we've got two, Matthew and Aiden. Happy birthday. Share a birthday with myself. Happy birthday. Oh yeah, happy birthday, Nova, today. Thanks. I didn't buy you anything. You think as a creator, I would get one of their birthday shout outs? No, but you're not. You don't pay for the privilege, so you don't. Is this not paying? I'm paying for it. <laughs> for September 14th, Michelle. Happy birthday, Michelle. Happy birthday, Michelle. For September 15th, Oliver and Fia. Happy birthday, Oliver. And Oliver and Fia Beanie. I love Fia that. Fia Beanie. Fia Beanie. Fia. 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 I'm not very familiar with that Fear name. Fear Beanie. Happy birthday. The 16th, it's Tommy. Happy birthday, Tommy. Happy birthday, Tommy. It's a lot of September babies. There's a lot of September. And then there's two for 18th, it's Andy and Kane. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Andy, and happy birthday, Kane. Thank you so much for being with us. We also have a Twitch. Yes. Um, what are we streaming at the moment? I'm streaming Pokemon Heart Gold, and um, I'm about to start streaming the Mortuary Assistant. And I'm doing, I'm about to start SOS The Final Escape, which is like an earthquake one, which also is Also known as Disaster Report. All right, sure. Yes. Um, Take it then. What's the report on this video? Solid, like, C plus disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Went right over your fucking head. <laughs> what? And a phone a friend to our brand new patrons, Janie Marcus, Dead by Christmas, Michael Brigant, Sir Don, Mackie Mackie 0220, Safonda Booze, Flory, Nathan Giddings, Connor, and Adam Messier. And then that's the who let's play! <laughs> <laughs> it's time to play. Who wants to be a the mil weakest link? A millionaire. It's confusing me this. <laughs> Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron.